And it's Sarah Dean Robert was sentenced to 10 years in prison, suspended after four and a half years, plus five years of probation and $10,000 to the iodized family. Today's sentencing was very uh, intense and emotional as Robert turned around to the iodized family and apologized as he broke out in tears, saying he made some very poor decisions that day, decisions that he will have to live with for the rest of his life. Now, Robert says he has been seeking therapy for the past two years, taking antidepressants and volunteering in the community. The sentencing is a historic and landmark case in Connecticut, which will be the first time Connecticut courts applied the language of the slow down move over law enacted in 2009. In 2017, the law was amended to include non-emergency vehicles. Police say 58 year old Corey Iodice of Florida was loading a car onto his flatbed when all of a sudden Dean Robert hit and killed him. Following the incident, Robert was charged with second degree manslaughter, reckless driving, operating under the influence and failure to reduce speed and move over for an emergency vehicle. Iodice's sister since then has started a nonprofit in an effort to reduce crashes like the one that killed her brother. It's my hope for Dean Robert that, uh, I don't know, when he does finish doing, doing his time, that he becomes an advocate for slow down, move over and flagman. By not giving that space and not paying attention, it increases the likelihood that they're going to end up in a tragic situation. Now, right now, a news conference is being held outside of the courthouse here. As you can see, it's Senator Blumenthal, first responders, the Iodice family, and other organizations talking about the slow down move over law. And up next at five, we'll hear the powerful and emotional statements from Dean Robert and the Iodice family themselves. Live in Bridgeport, Carmen Chow, Fox 61 News.